Hello, today we are going to learn about the scanner and the different types of scanners. Scanner. Precisely, scanner is an image scanner as it's an input device which scans the object and then creates a digital image of it. Digital image. That's why it's an image scanner. Now, that object can be an image on the hard copy or a printed text or a handwritten document or moreover it can be a visual that you are seeing you can capture it with your cameras and your smartphone right so what they actually do they actually capture the visual in front of you then it then they convert it into a digital image or rather a digital picture so, now the different types of scanners that is flat belts sheet file scanners drum scanners microfilm scanners slide scanners digital cameras and portable scanners now this classification is not going to last forever because with the kind of pace technology is advancing we might get a few new types of scanners in this classification in future now, the flat beds the flat beds are most popular nowadays as they are versatile, easy to operate and widely available. The flatbeds are flatbeds because the display on which the object, the document is put is flat, flat like bed. That's why they are called flatbeds. Now, uh, the flatbeds are versatile because they can accommodate a large size document an enlarged document, even a thick objects or thick document. Uh, they are easy to operate yet. So you just have to do some small operations from over here and then on some your computer or laptop. They are widely available. Uh, you might have noticed that when you are going to some offices or even a shop where the photocopy or the scanning thing is done, they use these flatbed scanners because flatbeds are available in a very wide price range and most of the people can afford the flatbeds. Now, the flatbeds has another quality that is its lead. This lead can accommodate the document and even the thick objects. Now, uh, there is uh, only one disadvantage for these flatbeds. For that we will take an example. Suppose you have to scan a book, a paperback novel that is of 200 pages, only 200 pages. Then what you will do? You will flip to the first page. And then you will put the book here. You will close the lead. Then you will do some settings, some operations over here. Then on your computer or laptop, then you will scan it. Now you will repeat this process again for another 199 pages so basically you are doing this manually for 200 pages 200 times it's very boring and tedious right so uh, the problem uh, here is that pages are not going automatically he here on display right but this can be overcome with the help of ADF ADF is automatic document feeder this machine is um, seen in the photocopier machine, right? In this photocopy machine, the documents that are to be photocopied are going automatically into the machine, right? And the output is uh, there on the machine again automatically. So, in photocopier machine, this ADF are already there, but this ADF can be adjoined to this flatbed scanners. And this disadvantage can become the advantage of flatbed scanners, as you can scan so many documents in this small amount of time. Now, uh, in uh, that place, in those shops where the photocopy and scanning thing is done, they have this machine which is actually a combination of scanner plus photocopy machine plus ADF. Now, there is another variant for this flatbed scanner that is overhead book scanner. As you can see over here in picture that a book is placed here but the scanning is done through here. That is overhead, overhead the book. That's why it's called the overhead book scanner. 
it's easier to scan a book in this overhead scanner rather than this flat base where you have to flip the pages manually and do the operations but in this overhead book scanner you just have to flip the pages and the scanning is done automatically right now the sheet fed scanners the sheet fed scanners are almost similar to that flatbed scanners but there are some variations and some disadvantage of this sheet fed scanners the variation is that these are sheet fed you have to feed the sheets in this machine in this scanner then you, then and then the document will get scanned now uh, this the sheet fed scanners does not give that the highest quality like the flatbed scanners and even if they give the highest quality but there is a price for it now there is another disadvantage that is the size of document suppose you are purchasing a sheet fed scanner which can accommodate only a4 size papers then and then you can scan only a4 size papers in this uh, it cannot accommodate then a2 size papers or a3 size papers right so that's another disadvantage but there are so many uh, so many sheet fed scanners available in different sizes uh, and with the help of sheet fed scanners we can get the big maps the big uh, enlarged documents the architectural drawings and blueprints scanned you know there are big sheet fed scanners available in the market now the sheet fed scanners are uh, feasible in the environment when where you have to scan the black and white documents and at relatively low resolutions and uh, this sheet file scanners handle the document a bit roughly so the documents have to be a bit sturdy to endure this rough handling now there is another type that is drum scanners drum scanners give the highest resolution highest quality and you know highest size too but at a price as you can see in pictures these drum scanners scanners are not easily portable as they are of big size and they can accommodate the big and large pictures big and large documents you know in museum you see those big pictures on big frames so for that they have to be scanned in this drum scanners and uh, there are some uh, high quality books right even those books are scanned in drum, drum scanners and everyone cannot afford the drum scanners so that there are very few company in the market which are producing the drum scanners and in this 21st century the market for drum scanners it very low because the highest quality is represented by the flatbed scanners too right so people prefer to go to flatbed scanners rather than drum scanners which are very costly and even the drum scanners are slow compared to the flatbeds and the documents that are to be scanned have to be hard tough and rough and this needs a very high level of operator skills and these drum scanners are usually used in the press market you know printing press and all that now another type that is the microfilm scanner this microfilm is a small library you know a sm not small library but it's a big library but in a small microfilm this microfilm is made of the negatives you have seen negatives right this those negative rolls which were used before right in those cameras that kind of negatives are used here in microfilms in this the books the journals the uh, big books you know the directories are uh, actually saved in this negative size in this negative form and that in converted in microfilm and then it is scanned on the computer with the help of this microfilm scanner you know here this is the microfilm scanner here the roll that is negative roll that is microfilm is put here then the roll is stretched over this whole machine and then on the scanner that is small one 
uh, and this small negative is placed you know that should be placed a very um, specifically because even if uh, there is a bit minor change in its position you might get the half of the picture half of the document empty so it needs a high level of operator skill uh, it can be operationally complex as I explained the film quality and condition may vary, vary according to the negatives according to it is scanned before now there are only a few companies which make the microfilm scanners because uh, there are only large organization which uh, use these microfilm scanners and there are other scanners which are very popular so the market for microfilm scanners is a bit low those big libraries and organizations use these microfilm scanners to save the documents save so many documents just imagine a library that has thousands books they are saved in this small microfilm right now there is another type that is slide scanners slide scanners are used uh, to scan the pictures especially the 3d pictures and some other special kind of documents and the negatives uh, it does not give that uh, best resolution but still it's really good and it's uh, very suitable for 3G, 3D objects and 3D documents because uh, if these 3D documents are scanned in those flatbed scanners then it does not give that very good quality. So the slide scanners are important. Now there is another that is digital cameras as I have mentioned them earlier in the definition of image scanner that these cameras actually scan the visual in front of us and then takes or captures a picture of it. So that's how they are a type of scanner. They combine a scanner with camera optics to form a versatile tool that can produce superior quality images. You know how superior quality images as we use these digital cameras. Uh, they are slower and more difficult to use than flatbed scanners. For us, it's not uh, that difficult to use because what we do, we just click the pictures in this um, automatic mode, right? But for those professional photographers, they have to do so many settings. They have to set the shutter speed, they have to set the light, they have to set the motion and all that. So for them, operating these cameras is not that easier and of course it's slower. For a perfect picture, they work very hard. They are adaptable to a very wide range of document and objects. Obviously, suppose you want to scan a, a big object. Uh, it can be your uh, surprise gift. It can be a uh, you know big uh, gift. It can be your a big book, a table, right? Suppose you have purchased a new handbag, then what you will do? You can't uh, scan that handbook in those flatbed scanners. But yes, it can be done easily with these digital cameras. You have to just click the picture of your handbag and then send it to your friends and families, right? Now, uh, the fragile materials can be easily captured in digital cameras, but uh, they cannot be scanned in scanners because you might be fear hearing that uh, uh, there might be some harm to that material, right? Now, there are external lightings that is used in digital cameras, you know. Uh, if the lightings in background changes, the picture changes automatically. It's not uh, that hurdle to us, but to the photographers, it can change the whole picture, right? Now, this Digital cameras market is very lucrative and improving day by day. There are so many new digital cameras that are uh, making their way to the market. So, in future, we all will be using these digital cameras, or maybe we might have the same kind of megapixel camera in our smartphone. Now. The portable scanners as the name suggests they are portable you can carry them with yourself right and it includes this page scanner this book page scanner 
here you just have to slide this scanner on this book page and this page will be scanned here in this scanner you just have to uh, get this picture in this scanner just like the sheet fed, sheet fed scanners but still the size is compact and that's why they are easy to move now there is another that is pen scanner uh, there is another name for this and that is spy cameras we have heard of it right the small cameras fit into this ball pens uh, not ball pens but they are slightly bigger than the fountain pens now uh, this uh, spy cameras does not give that highest resolution or that perfect quality image but still they are, they are useful right now that's the 